Tuesday, the 28th of September, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 21. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which flow be a sin the double cure. Save me from. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, at the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ once raised from the dead dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. 
In living, he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 94. Psalm 94. O Lord, God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world. Give the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your chosen nation. They murder the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet they say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you dullards among the people, when will you fools understand? He that planted the air, does he not hear? He that formed the eyes, does he not see? He who admonishes the nations, will he not punish? He who teaches all the world, has he no knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts, how like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you instruct, O Lord, whom you teach out of your law, to give them rest in evil days, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his own. For judgment will again be just, and all the true of heart will follow it. Who rose up for me against the wicked? Who took my part against the evildoers? If the Lord had not come to my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped. Your love, O Lord, upheld me. When many cares fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a corrupt tribunal have any part with you, one which frames evil into law. They conspire against the life of the just and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my trust. He will turn their wickedness back upon them and destroy them in their own malice. The Lord our God will destroy them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A 
A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verses 1 to 10. Hear the word of the Lord, O people of Israel. For the Lord has an indictment against the inhabitants of the land. There is no faithfulness or loyalty, and no knowledge of God in the land. Swearing, lying, and murder, and stealing, and adultery break out. Bloodshed follows bloodshed. Therefore the land mourns, and all who live in it languish. Together with the wild animals and the birds of the air, even the fish of the sea are perishing. Yet let no one contend, and let no one accuse. For with you is my contention, O priest. You shall stumble by day. The prophet also shall stumble with you by night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge, and I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. The more they increased, the more they sinned against me. They changed their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people. They are greedy for their iniquity, and it shall be like people, like priests. I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They shall eat, but not be satisfied. They shall play the whore, but not multiply, because they have forsaken the Lord to devote themselves to whoredom. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of God, written in the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 5, verses 12 to 26. Once, when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest, and, as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases, but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. One day, while he was teaching, 
Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then, some men came, carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questionings, he answered them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, Stand up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately, he stood up before them, took what he had been lying on and went to his home, glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and of the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirits within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The 
the collect for today. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray for direction. Be with us, Lord, in all our prayers and direct our way towards the attainment of salvation that among the changes and chances of this mortal life, we may always be defended by your gracious help. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We also pray for guidance. Guide us, Lord, in all our doings with your gracious favor, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and by your mercy attain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. the prayer of dedication. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.